That's on. All right. Now we are switching to power frequency for decimal five five. Transponder on alt. Lights. Compass. Tower, Robin Indy, Romeo November is uh, ready at holding point Alpha 8, runway 29 arrived for an upwind departure. Indy, Romeo November, runway right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway right, Indy, Romeo November. Alpha 200 is right there, 500 overhead the field. 1,500 inbound with information, Bravo. Alpha 200 uh, confirming track by picnic point, 1,500. Alpha uh, 200 is for picnic point, 1,500. Please station inbound, say again. Warrior India Papa Oscar inbound at Tyrone 1500. Tyrone Oscar thanks down to our joint crosswind runway 29 right maintain 1500. Join crosswind runway 29 right maintain 1500 India Papa Oscar. Oscar Tango Hotel, your intentions? Uh, Tango, Oscar Tango Hotel. Okay, just confirm you're on base now. It's just any final now, Oscar Tango Hotel. Oscar Tango Hotel, follow the cherry come final. We'll go, Foxtrot, Tango, Hotel. Hey, Santiago, good morning. Flight plane India, Alaska, Victor is ready, 29 to center for a crosswind departure. In Alaska, Victor, good day, runway center, line up. Lining up, runway center, India, Alaska, Victor. 50200, today, departure 129.7. Departure 129.7, 50200. Hello, Romeo, Delta, downwind, touch and go. Hello, Romeo, Delta. Indiosk, uh, Victor, just confirm was crosswind, was it? Hey, so I'm crosswind to the door. Indiosk, Victor, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Indiosk, Victor. Foxtrot Tango Hotel, runway left, clear touch and go. Left, clear touch and go, Foxtrot Tango Hotel. If you have any questions or anything, I will. I'm just enjoying the experience right now. I just love getting such a panoramic view of like actually anything from this out of two. Yeah, it's cool, right? Yeah. trying to figure out where, like I can see Prospect Reservoir. Yeah, that's uh, Warwick Farm Racetrack over there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but I don't know the area well enough. Yeah, right. No, me either. Um, yeah, sorry. I'll tell you the things I know. Maintain 1,500, runway right. We're going pretty much uh, directly west now. Yeah. I'm going to turn southwest, actually. Outside of the Bankstown controlled airspace now, so okay. that's why I had to change the transponder yeah. code. 
That's just for like general aviation or yeah, something like that? Yeah, general aviation in Class G. That's Class D, which is like a minor towered aerodrome. Yep. India Bravo uniform, downwind touch and cuff. India Bravo uniform. Also, like a code for my radio isn't working, and a code for I've been hijacked. And a code for oh shit, my engine is failing. I'll get around my right, clear to land. Clear to land, run my right, and give a pause. Yeah. Fox Red Tango Hotel, follow the Cherokee ahead. Fox Red Tango Hotel. That's what they're building the new airport. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, right. right. Gonna, the, the, the like big, the big brown area? Yeah, big brown yeah, area, right. yeah. Nancy Bird Walton Airport, right? I don't know. I think What's that's what I'm calling her. Nancy Bird Walton. She was an early Australian aviator. Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, it, I I was confused because I was thinking of there's a uh, an area in Austin, like a big uh, state park called Lady Bird Johnson. Okay. That was the name of uh, uh, LBJ's wife. Right. Yeah, I think I knew that. Yeah. I think I knew well. Not about the state park, but I think I knew. I think a hotel is going around. Uh, Ladybird was LBJ as well. Yeah. I think I had. That was like a dog's name. I think maybe I think that because that was uh, Hank Hill's dog's name in Ticket Hill. <laughs> that must be why. There's a cat who lives down the street for us whose name is Ladybug. Ladybug, that's a good name for a cat. Yeah, I like, I like it too. But this is the M7 here. Okay. Yep. I'm crossing the South Harbour and Northern Beach sectors. Actually, Vic Yankee identified on the clearances of South Harbour and Northern Beach sectors. On the clearance of South Harbour and Northern Beach sectors, X-ray Vic Yankee. So when the new airport's here, that's probably going to affect like the recreational. Yeah, it's going to fuck everything up, and, yeah. and nobody knows what's going to happen. Yeah. All traffic in the walls on that city area. Hotel Tango, my car levels are available if you'd like. Uh, 4,500 is possible, hope you'll bring them back. Hotel Tango, my climb to 4,500. Climb to 4,500, hope you'll bring them back. Sydney Centre, Victor Whiskey Bravo request. Victor Whiskey Bravo. Victor with you, Bravo, is at uh, Barrandary Head, 1,500, tracking the long reef. Uh, request uh, code and clearance for Harbour Scenic 1. Sorry, just trying to remember something. With you, Whiskey Bravo, did you have a plan in? Yeah, flight, flight plan in the system, Asa. Or did you just stand by? In case we want to go to Camden. Victor Whiskey Bravo, where'd you depart from? I just went. Thanks, Sam. Victor Whiskey Bravo. Good job. I think that's happening because the air is hitting your, uh... Well, the next trailer, you know, All right. Is, is it? No, maybe not. Maybe it's mine. Never mind. It's all right. Victor Whiskey Bravo, what was the aircraft type? That's on me, and I don't mind, but if you want it, you should uh, rotate it 180, probably. Thanks, mate. Or something like that. That was on me. Is it? Oh, okay. All right, good. Sorry, I'm out. Sorry, sorry. This is bugging you. No, it's not bugging me. It feels good. But that means it feels uh, less good for you. I got one over here. Victor Whiskey Bravo, it's called 0575. Victor Whiskey Bravo, say again. Victor Whiskey Bravo, it's called 0575. That's uh, Oren Park over there beyond the water. 0575, Victor Whiskey Bravo. And Norellin. Yeah, all right, okay. There's some train yard here. Circular Romeo, that's two stars, two stars. Get there? Oh yeah, Circular Romeo identification terminates. Circular that's fun to do. <laughs> Let me just get the plane out of the way for a second. So yeah, exactly. I have to practice that, I'm not very good at it. Pick the whiskey, Bravo. Now you can smell the, the fuel. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Harbor Scenic 1, Q1H1021, Pick the whiskey, Bravo. Harbor Scenic 1, Q1H1021, Pick the whiskey, Bravo. Uh, 
It must be a wind coming. Uh, in fact, I know there's a wind coming from this way, so we're going kind of slow. It'll be faster to go back. To the Yankee Alpha. Fuel smell must be strong because usually I can't smell anything through my mask. Yeah, um, there's like a vent in the cap so yeah. that the suction doesn't, uh, you know, cause a vacuum in there. Uh -huh. And when you do that kind of thing, it uh, a little bit splashes out. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, that is Brinjelli. Brinjelli okay. Brickworks. I don't know if you know Brinjelli. Uh. I've vaguely heard of it, so yeah. Important navigation point for going to Camden. Uh -huh. And Camden's over there, I don't know if you can see it, there's a cleared area with a runway going this way. That's Camden Airport. I'm gonna climb now. It's not moving very much, so there must not be a lot of uh, bit of ground. Victor Whiskey Bravo, once you were done, we were planning going coastal southbound or back up to the north. Uh, hey, firm, after the orbits are complete, uh, request to exit via the Sydney Heads and descent to 500 for Victor 1. Victor Whiskey Bravo, Roger, I'll see what I can do. Victor Whiskey Bravo. to make sure there's nobody in front of us.
No, I haven't. In the lessons, I've flown like basically to Goulburn and back several times. Yeah, right. And uh, Oberon and stuff. Uh -huh. Identified. Climb by the seat. Which is pretty fun, but I can't do it by myself yet. Right. Climb by the seat, 9000, cancel speed restrictions, 439, 31. to fly me to Orange sometime. I, I, I would love to. When I get that damn license, I'll be yeah. happy to. And they, I believe they have a strip there, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, they've got a whole airport. I don't okay. know. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, my father-in-law. Yeah, he flies out of there, right? Okay, family, yeah. So, yeah. So, the NK Alpha code. So, this is the Oaks above, uh, below our nose, or in front of our nose up here. Okay. Once we get there, I can climb up higher. There's like a, um, okay, so a step, uh, yeah, right. like controlled airspace, like above us, it, we're not allowed to go uh, more than 200 feet above us. 439, cancel C10 right heading 060. Cancel C10. This is why this is the only place you can do speed, right? Yeah, because you can get high enough. Yeah. I think also, like, technically you could do them over there, but you get, uh, like major aircraft coming in for this right here, but you don't over here. Right. Through the heads, 800 feet unverified. Start side of the next service, Yankee. Does it get weird, like, updrafts and stuff once you're in the, like, above the valleys? Yeah, you do get effects like that. In particular, you get um, mountain waves. When there's a wind coming from the west over the mountain, yep. it causes um, standing waves like, like this. this. And so it's really dangerous because you can't see them except you get these weird, like, rounded off clouds. Uh -huh. And so if you see those, you have to be wary. Because apparently if you fly into it, it's like, whoa, shit, yeah. I just lost a thousand feet and I didn't uh -huh. realize it. Yeah. I don't know about, like, over the valley itself. I haven't heard of issues there. Right on. And uh, on a day like today, we'll, we'll probably feel it. You get uh, thermals above the darker ground. So like we'll be climbing very slowly to go spin and then once we get up above the trees it'll go faster. Okay. Yeah. They have gliders in Camden. Uh, they do a lot of gliding there. Uh -huh. See departures, corners 840. It's really fun. 1,600. Gliding, yeah, gliding sounds cool. I, I bet it'd be cool. It's fun to glide in this. I just can't glide with shit compared to those. Cancel speed restrictions, corners 840. Hotel Tango Mike, identification terminates, Cork 1200. It sounds to me like the difference between like being under sail when you're sailing and like motoring. Yeah. Well, so this is great because it has power, right? They call it an, uh, an iron thermal or something like that, right? Okay. Uh, so you can climb. You can glide in it. It's got a glide ratio of like 8.7 to 1. So for every point you lose, you go 8.7 feet forward. Okay. Um, and that's what you do if you lose the engine, right? So uh, I'm not allowed to do it with you, unfortunately, but uh, you can practice this. Like, yeah, right. I lost my engine. I'm going to go land in the field. Okay. And it's really fun. Because it, uh, it's basically like a physics problem. It's all just about engine, uh, sorry, energy management. Right. Like there's an optimal speed to glide at so you get the proper ratio. Yeah. And then when you get to the ground, you don't want to be going too fast because then you need a long... Runway. Just yeah. To, yeah. Yeah, so um, you eventually just sort of grok it intuitively the same way you do like a video game, the physics yeah, yeah, of a video yeah. game or something. Uh -huh. It's pretty fun. So I can imagine doing it in a proper glider is even more fun. Yeah. Alright, we're above the oaks now, I'm gonna climb up higher. I assume you're still you're still up for it. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'm up. Just at long reef, 1,500 inbound for the Harbour Scenic. Looking at Kirby, thank you. Well, I'll probably go to 1,500 if we can get there. Climb performance is worse on a hot day. Connecting uh, at work over land. Uh, Papa, Yankee, whiskey, looking for traffic. Corner side 40, climb to 5 level 280. And with two adults in the seat. Amazing how much better it climbs with Samantha in the seat. Bye, Yankee Whiskey. Victor Whiskey Bravo established east of the coastline. You can descend into Victor 1. On the descent, your identification terminates. Could never go spinning with me, though, so. You won't go spinning? Well, I haven't asked her, but she's terrified of the loops, so. All right, okay. Victor Loves barrel rolls. Uh-huh. Barrel rolls are really fun. I learned to do that uh, a couple months ago. I'm going to try to get over some dark ground. Quantus 40 cancel Sid, re-clear direct to NPAG. Direct to NPAG, Quantus 840. Approach, 500 200. 
Five at 200, stand by. Is that the lake behind the dam? Over there? The dam's up there, uh, you oh, mean, okay. uh, Gamba Gamba. Gamba. Yeah. It's way up there, but this is uh, an extension of like the river that feeds the lake. Okay. I think. In the city of Wedipa, Nzuli Yankee Alpha, Lake 2, inbound from the north, uh, five miles to run through 2,500. And it's huge, like it extends really far. Yeah, right. We'll we'll use it for navigation, even like way out near uh, Penhurst and stuff. 13235, plus 9931, good day. So yeah, 5 at 200. Two. Oh, when we get up to height, you want to fly a little bit before we spin, before you're dizzy? Uh, you want to try that? Yeah, sure. All right, uh, you don't have to, but if you want to. Yeah. I enjoyed it last time. Oh, you can fly right now while we're climbing. I'll do the rudder. Five at 200. Fly us. Center. Don't hit the button. Don't stall. Look down. Want to keep it about 70 knots to climb. That's like the good optimal climbing spin. So the more you pull back, the more if you go forward, you can. Santa Zulu Yankee Alpha, we approach the circuit area. Where to burn? Cancel starting. Zulu Yankee Alpha, thanks for that. Where to burn? Star Watch terminated. You got. Uh, I'm not sure I've seen the traffic everywhere. The closest. What? I'm not sure I've seen the Blue Mountains from this. Like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey. Oh yeah. We can go a little ways this way. I think the technical uh, legal boundary for me is the water. Yeah, right. Talking to one of the seats there. There's a little yank up, thanks. All right, have a good one. Thanks for your help, mate. Hey, Gary. Cool. It looks like more like, you know, the US, like the, I don't know, the Great Canyon kind of Yeah, it does. I, it doesn't look like I would have expected. Yeah. I agree. I guess I've seen like the Grand Canyon and deserts and stuff in movies from like above. Yeah. I didn't see the Blue Mountains. Yeah, exactly. Thing, but it's like especially over there. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. say over here, but yeah, over because there. Of the water. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tracking south to its Palm Beach at uh, 1,100 feet. Sydney uh, traffic. All right, you can take over again. All right, cool. So we're high enough to spin. If you want to do it. Uh, yeah, let's. I'm uh, gonna go back that way. Do it over the uh, over this ground here. Uh, remind me again. Don't look outside the plane. Don't look outside the plane. Watch the altimeter. It's uh, fun. And your peripheral vision will take care of it for you. Okay. <laughs> Brisbane Center one three three days more five. I would. I've never tried closing my eyes. My guess is it's bad. Yeah, yeah. No, I bet that's yeah. worse. And, and also, just don't worry. Like I've done it a lot of times. It's fine. Like uh, the whole point is is. Like, I practiced it in case we do spin. Yeah, yeah. I'm not worried about, like, the safety of it or anything. I'm worried <laughs> about losing my breakfast. Yeah. I don't think you will. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly out here and then I'm going to do a steep turn to make sure nobody's underneath yep. us. Yep. Something interesting. Oh, I have to do some specs, too. So we're at, uh, 6,500 feet. Like at 1,500. Canopy is locked. Bye, Yankee Whiskey, we'll take that, thank Rim you. for straight and level, flaps are up. Uh, you don't have any loose objects. Uh, your harness is good. And about the sector with the Yankee. Engine looks happy. Sector's with the... Put on the fuel pump. Over the ridge, general. Engine still looks happy. All is there, uh, And I'll look out for your traffic in a minute. Key, many thanks, you cleared the Bondi 5 southbound. Bondi 5 southbound, next over with Yankee, g'day. Reminding myself what I do, pull the throttle out, check the spin direction, back, kick the opposite direction. All right. Fiber 200 center. It literally involves lying my hands on the dash. Oh, don't fuck with the controls. Okay. That's bad. <laughs> That's why I put my hands on the dash. I did it with the throttle. Try the, the rudder. Yep. In fact, if I do a full rudder, is that going to hit your feet now? Okay. No. Okay, I'm Victor, contact approach, 1283. Okay, I'm going to do a steep turn to, to look out, okay? All right. Bye, Yankee Whiskey's completed orbits, tracking for Bondi. Bye, Yankee Whiskey, thanks for that. Uh, Tell me if you see any planes. You have to go through the head and then he'll descend down uh, coastal. This should be about 2G. Be opposite direction traffic. I'll give you another update shortly. Currently, you're 3 o'clock at 4 miles. Direction will be you 9 o'clock at 4 miles. Looks good to me. Good. I didn't see anything. Alright. Um, you have a preference for direction? I've got that, thank you. What? 
You do whatever you want. I'm gonna go, I don't know, left feels good to me. I'm gonna go left. Okay. Oh, no, not that way, this way. We'll get down to about 60 knots and then I'm gonna do it. Uh. Here's the altimeter to watch. Watching now. That's normal. And that's auto rotation, and now we're going to be spinning soon. Now we're spinning. So, you alright? 6,000, 5,900, 5,800, 7, 6, 5, throttle, spinning left, dash, kick. Now we're diving, Whoa. and I'm going to pull out of it. Yeah! <laughs> alright. No traffic around. The engine seems happy. My ears just popped. Yeah, that's normal. 4,100 feet. We should be going southish, I think. I'm trying to orient myself. Yeah, south. Okay. Good work. We did it. Some air speed. What do you think? That was awesome. Awesome, right? Alright, just give us a moment to... Full eyes. Yeah, my ears. Yeah, you know how to do this to, if your ears are still popped? Yeah, yeah, no, my, yeah. my ears are fine. Alright. Yeah, the fire Kiwi is now turning left to track the coastal northbound. We do have that helicopter. What do you think? You want to do it again? Yeah, I'll do it again. Alright. If you want. You don't have to. Yeah, no, no, I'm okay. Right. Let's do it to the right. Yeah, we'll do it the other way, yeah. Alright. Well, so we gotta climb up again. This is the. Actually, I'll go back to the darker land over here. The part that takes all the time about spinning is you gotta do a bunch of climbing. And then you lose it very quickly. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't very long, and we lost uh, 2,300 feet. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's why spinning's risky. <laughs> I mean, near the ground. You should see that from the outside, like what the... I know, like, I right? want to see it from below. Yeah. One day you have to go to the Oaks and film me. <laughs> it probably doesn't look impressive from the ground. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't know, I bet it looks pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, actually. All I know is those movie scenes. Where they've got the model spinning yeah, and the right. altimeter unwinding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I know, uh -huh. you know? I realized I wasn't looking at the altimeter, I was looking at this thing because I was... This is the uh, uh, accelerometer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, watch that next time. Yeah. So I'll go back up to 6,500. And the legal requirement is that we that we come out of it by 3,000. The wind right. at 8, temperature 2.4, change for Juliet. So, Pi Yankee Whiskey at Long Reef. Crazy, huh? Seven, eight, seven, eight. It's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, I know. Good change approved. Do you have a good one? It was, I actually think it's been more crazy because I wasn't watching all the time. I was just like, Go there's, for it. there's nuts. Stuff going on yeah. outside the thing. Don't let me stop you. Yeah, I, I don't know. I am concerned that it's going to make. It is nuts, and you have to like focus. Uh huh. I I'm so glad they taught me to do this. Yeah. If that happened to me, and I wasn't intending it. I would shit myself. Uh huh. And it can happen to you. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. And departures hotel three limits through two thousand three hundred on climb three thousand. Basically, it happens if you let it stall, and then you don't correct it quickly enough. Right. Eventually, you're because you're like unstable while it's stalling. Uh -huh. Eventually, one wing goes down first, right. and that's when you start spinning. Yeah. Hotel Carolina. And the worst thing is, if your left wing goes down, you're tempted to use right stick to, to correct it. Yeah. But that makes it worse because when the um, when you do that, the angle of attack gets worse on this wing. Okay. And so it it steepens the spin. So what you have to do is use rudder instead. Okay. And uh. Yeah, it's hard to like realize that you need to do that. So it, it kills people if they're not familiar.
Alright, here we are again. So, again, I'm gonna look in front of us and below us. Hotel Sierra Lima, climb 27,000. Climb 7,000, Hotel Sierra Lima. up to speed because I'm supposed to make sure it's set straight and level when we're at speed. I lost a little bit out here, it'll go up. Okay, you want to do it to the left? Good? I can't hear you. Yeah. Okay, you're good? Yeah? It's all good. Oh no, I did it to the left last time. I'm gonna do it to the right now. Okay. Okay. We're spinning. Altimeters here. 6,000 yeah. feet. 5.9, five, 5.8, five, 7, 6, 5, throttle direction. Speed, now we pull out of the dive. Alright, so that's all I was looking at. <laughs> you looked out, yeah? I actually feel and a lot worse that time, too. The world is spinning yep. right now. I'm ba almost back to normal now. We're at 3,900 feet, heading toward the Oaks. 1,000 RPM sounds good, now 2,500. Yeah, that one was worse for me. <laughs> I don't know why. 4,000 feet, sorry, 3,900 feet. Or again, but damn, that way, so we're heading north. Ish, yeah, three, five, three, okay, good. The ritual of telling yourself where you are and how high you are seems to help a lot. To like, yeah, okay. Yeah. There's the oaks. Yeah, get some air. I don't, want, I don't think I want to do another one, if that's all, all right. right. All right. Woo! I'm just going to fly for a little bit. Sounds good. I'm... I'm Pretty much back to normal now. Good. Departures, good day, Jetstar 458, passing 1,300, climbing 5,000. Jetstar 458, departures identified, climb by the SID to flight level 280, cancel speed restrictions. Climb by the SID to flight level 280, cancel speed, Jetstar 458. Alright, engine looks good. Pump is degrees. As I said, we're heading toward the war Gambit Dam up there. North-ish. Turn off the fuel pump. like, I can show you a barrel roll, but okay. I don't blame you at all if you're not uh, interested. Not at all, okay. It's a new one, right? Yeah, that's a new one. Um, I'm not as good at it as the other ones. It's possible I'll fuck it up. If I fuck it up, I know how to get out of it, yeah, no problem. Sure. Uh, but, but it just may feel wrong. Alright. Um, so, actually I should turn the fuel pump back on. So we're at uh, 4,000 feet. The lock. 
lap throw, turn for straight and level. Your uh, harness is still good. Fine is no loose objects. The engine's happy. I'll have a look around to make sure nobody's around. landing right 
now in Camden. Yeah, I can see. Where's this coming from? From this rough air, I can tell it's going to get cloudy in an hour or two, I think. All right. I'm just saying that prediction out loud to see if I'm right. Okay. The meteorology stuff is the hardest. I I'm still trying to get my head around it. All right. That's the sort of stuff you need for, like, uh, navigation. Yeah, well, I mean, you don't want to, like, go if you're going to get stuff in yeah. clouds or something. And so, yeah, I'll get tested on it. I'm seeing more planes okay. than I did last time. I don't remember seeing any planes up in the air. Hey, last time. Any planes in the air? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me know when you see them. It's easy to, it's easy to miss them. Yeah. And I'd rather be aware of them. I saw that one, though. There was a yellow one out there before. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, I saw one come down. Okay. Down yeah. here before, too. If they're, if they're like way below, it's fine, but yeah. it's still good to know about them. when they don't have a strong color. That one's... Yeah. Uh, maybe 300 feet below us now. Oh yeah, I see it. And it's busy here, because this is a like, plane to get in and out of uh, yeah. Bank Sound. One zero two one. First contact, Bank Sound Tower. All ground out of receipt of information. Bravo. Bravo. Alright, so it's still Bravo, which means I uh, got 5 knots variable wind. We're going to expect to join crosswind for when I, uh, runway 29 are right. Engine looks happy. Transponder on. yourself to the limit is uh, on the landing there's a lot of like burning and you go low speeds so don't get as much air and that kind of thing uh -huh. so it can make you feel nasty on the landing yeah. that, that's what I remember from last time yeah. was, like that was the worst part yeah Bravo. but like I don't want to go beyond like where I am right now yeah good okay good very wise wiser than me especially because the air is getting rough Town is a cleared area straight ahead of us. Sure. Yeah, that, that's the rough air. It's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's all good. I, I don't know if that's clear to people or not. Oscar <laughs> Fox Truck Kilo join. I think we accept, you know, light aircraft like this. You're gonna get like yeah, you get you know, blown. Over, you get blown around for sure. I mean, 
Maybe even in big jets he do, but that's yeah. for sure. Also, it's no problem. I can land in this line. Robin India Romeo November is inbound at 2RM, 1,500 feet with information Bravo. Romeo November, Bankstown Tower, traffic ahead is a Fox Bat joining the southern circuit. Join crosswind runway 2 on a right, maintain 1,500. Crosswind 2 on a right, 1,500, looking for traffic, India Romeo November. Pressure undercarriage is fixed. Excited in your room in November. In your room in November. Unfortunately, we have to go slow. This guy ahead of us. Thanks, down tower. Limit of ever Foxtrot. Holding short of main pad. Requesting four seconds. Limit of November, Foxtrot tower, main pad, clear for takeoff. Main pad, clear for takeoff. Limit of ever Foxtrot. 281, runway left 3, touch and go. Runway left 2, touch and go, Fox Bay 281. Evan Bosco Romeo, extend upwind is required to follow a technam joining the circuit from 2RN, it'll be about your 10 o'clock high. Looking for traffic, Evan Bosco Romeo, traffic pattern. Evan Bosco Romeo. Bosco Fosso Kilo, 2 miles. Bosco Fosso Kilo, clear visual approach, runway left number 3, and uh, follow a diamond turning final. Approach number three, we've got a traffic inside, let's go for two kilo. Thanks, John Tower, Saratoga, Victor Whiskey Bravo, 2RM, maintaining 1500, inbound in receipt of Bravo. Victor Whiskey Bravo, Banks Town Tower, join crosswind runway 2 on the right, maintain 1500. Join crosswind runway 2 on the right, maintain 1500, Victor Whiskey Bravo. Thanks, John Tower, uniform at November Bravo, holding short runway 29 right, ready. Tower, Alpha 8, cross runway right, hold short, runway center. Cross 2-9 right, hold short, runway center, uniform November, Bravo. Uniform November, Romeo, runway left, be touching air. Touching go, uniform November, Romeo. Fosco Foster Kilo is mid down when touching go. Fosco Foster Kilo. Near Romeo November, downwind. Uniform November Bravo, runway center, line up and wait. Line up and wait, 2 9 center, uniform November Bravo. Near Romeo November, clear visual approach, runway right, number one. Clear visual approach, runway right, and near Romeo November. Victor Whiskey Bravo, amend my instructions, track direct to the tower, report approaching overhead, maintain 1,500. Track direct to the tower, maintain 1,500. Victor Whiskey Bravo. November Bosco Romeo, downwind, touch and go. Evan Bosco Romeo, follow the uh, tech name on base. Hello, Bosco Romeo. Uniform November Bravo, report leaving 2000, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Uniform November Bravo. Indy Romeo November, on my right, clear to land. Clear to land, run my right, Indy Romeo November.
down, we in stop and go in main pad. Seven November, Foxtrot. Main pad number one. Whiskey Bravo, overhead the tower. Main pad number one, Limo to Vera Foxtrot. Victor Whiskey Bravo, join a crosswind for runway 2 on the right, maintain 1500. Join crosswind, runway 2 on the right, maintain 1500, Victor Whiskey Bravo. Tower, helicopter media 28 uh, on the ground November 1 in receipt of Bravo, ready. Media 28, uh, continue upwind till advised, report airborne November 1. Continue upwind till advised, uh, uh, report airborne November 1, media 28. Um, Oscar Romeo, on my left, please touch and go. Oscar Romeo, on my left, touch and go. 11 Foxtrot, main pad, please stop and go. 11 November Foxtrot, main pad, please stop and go. Bravo, just make that decimal seven. Uniform at November Bravo. Uh, correction, make that one one eight decimal four. One, sorry, one, sorry, you're right. Uniform November Bravo. Victor Whiskey Bravo, clear visual approach from my right. Thanks, Town Tom Information Bravo, runway two on a right. Please stop and go. Still down a fox shot, I'll short contact here. Still down the fox shot. Thanks on ground, Robin India Romeo November is clear of runway right. Request taxi to parking at November. India Romeo November, taxi to parking. Taxi to parking, India Romeo November.